Hey everyone, Cody here, and I just wanted to kind of give you an update, uh, both on what's been going on with me towards the channel and just this whole thing with the coronavirus and all that. And I know talking about it, you know, makes people uncomfortable or whatever, but the the, well, the one thing I want to say is just don't don't panic, uh, stay calm, and you know it's worrying about it and worrying about what other people are saying or doing. Uh, and worrying about you know what ha might happen in the future. None of that stuff is going to help you. It's not going to benefit you to take on that extra stress. I mean, it, you're either going to get it or you're not. And I really hate to say it that black and white, but I just I only say that because I don't want you to worry. I don't want you to stress about that, right? As if there's not enough stress already going on with our day to day lives and our family and our our health and jobs and all that. So. There's just a lot of uncertainty. If you're, you know, if you believe in God, I would just say just keep submitting that to prayer. If you don't, then just just know that it, everything works out in the end, right? So please, just don't take it to heart, okay? Just be prepared and just stay clean, stay healthy, and uh, do what you can, but, but don't stress about it, okay? It's not going to help you. Uh, now, let's talk about this channel. I've been kind of burnt out lately and just talking over the, the paintings over and over again. Um, I just feel like I don't really have anything to say right now because I've pretty much said everything I've needed to say. Um, so some of the videos, I'm going to try some new things with editing and some, and just music because I want to continue this channel, but it's not really growing. Like I, I get subscribers, but don't really get views so it's like do I even keep doing it if nobody's watching and I'm very grateful for for everybody who has watched it but it's it's just not a lot right and so it's like does it do I really justify putting in time and effort to something that I've been working on for three years that just really isn't going anywhere right and so that's kind of where I'm at um like I said I'm gonna try to put out some more videos I still I did record my Pollock style painting so I do have that and that is coming out so um just look for that in the next week or so um but I did I did record it so uh I want to keep that promise um also just concerning uh the paintings and stuff I don't really feel like I'm contributing a whole lot to abstract art and, and stuff like that so just really don't feel like I'm giving back that much in the videos. It feels like it's just me kind of talking to myself. And I know I'm not a very exciting pe uh, person to listen to. So I already understand that. And kind of going back and watching some of my old videos, I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> How, why would anyone spend 10 to 20 minutes listening to me when I probably have the most monotone voice of anyone I know? I wouldn't listen to me either. Uh, uh, now that I think about it. Anyway, so I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to do with the channel. If I'm going to keep going, if I'm just going to kind of finish up the videos I have and then not really do anything, we'll kind of see how it goes. Um, anyway, uh, lastly, I kind of want to show a couple of paintings. So two nights ago, I had a night where I did six paintings and I'm actually going to show you some of them. And most of them did not turn out good. I mean, I, I think I did. Yeah, I think I did like five or six paintings and they just, they were not good. And they kept messing up and I kept messing up and messing up. And it was frustrating me. It was getting me to the point where I just didn't want to paint anymore because I was having such a bad day. Uh, so I even like ripped one up and I threw another one outside because I was just so frustrated. And, and I'm just being honest with you, right? That I, I go through that. But then the next night, last night, I actually painted, I, I was so frustrated and um, because I was trying to do a specific technique. I was trying to do a scrape painting with the gloss enamel in a way that I had done before that I was happy with and I couldn't replicate it. It was so, it was just frustrating me so much that I couldn't replicate it no matter how many times I tried and different things. And it just, you know, it got me to this point of, of frustration. So yesterday, when I was just going through my own uh, videos, 
there's a painting that I have up on my wall that's a black, gold, silver, and white painting that I really like. And, and it has the style that I was trying to emulate on these newer paintings, but I couldn't remember how to do it. And going back and watching my own video, I realized how I did it. So it's kind of funny because in a way I taught myself inadvertently. And so through that video, and I, I can post a, a picture of the video here uh, or a link so that you can go watch it. Um, I'll put a link in the description as well. It was the video called a painter or a painting painted by a painter who paints or something like that. It was some nonsense title. Um, and I realized how I did it. And, and that was kind of the method that I was trying to do. And so I made a couple of paintings that I'm actually really happy with. And so my point out of all of this is that <clears throat> when you're frustrated, it's easy to want to give up, to, to kind of throw in the towel. And I was to that point a couple nights ago. I was like, man, I just, I don't even want to paint anymore. Like I wanted to take a break from it. But something inside of me was telling me like, no, don't give up. You, you got to push through it. And if you really want to learn the technique, if you really want to master it, you can't give up when it's tough. You have to push through that and really uh, keep pushing into uh, the difficulty so that you come out the other side of the difficulty. Because it's like anytime you're trying to learn something new, we're always afraid of like failure, right? Or making mistakes. But it's not until we plateau or hit a wall that once we go over the wall or once we climb, you know, the next mountain, whatever that is, uh, it's not until we do that that we improve, right? And so I was at the, I was at a low point and I was at a wall and I just almost didn't even want to do painting, at least for a time, uh, because of that. But I pushed through that. And when I did these paintings last night, they turned out really good and they turned out pretty close to what I was trying to achieve. Now, I'm not saying I have it perfected or anything, but but in going back and watching that um, old video, it inspired me to try it again, and these paintings are closer to what I was trying to do. Unfortunately, because I was so frustrated with how the previous night had gone, I didn't even bother recording, so you don't even get to see that. So it's a little unfortunate. It's like the, the paintings that turned out good you don't get to see, but I sometimes post paintings that I really don't like up here because I want you to kind of see what happens, that people do make mistakes or that sometimes paintings just don't turn out the way you want. And I don't know if that just happens to me or every other artist and they just don't want to admit it. I don't know. I can't speak for anyone else. But that all aside, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the paintings now that I did over the last, you know, last night and a couple nights that actually turned out right that I was proud of and then I'm going to talk about it and kind of how I did that and if you're interested in seeing how I did that then I will continue to do the videos and I will show you how I did it because I actually want to push more into this uh this method because I actually am very happy with the results so I'm going to switch the camera over and show you the three paintings that turned out really good, that were scraped gloss enamel paintings, so just so you know what they were, um, and I'll kind of explain it, and if you're interested, please leave a comment in the section, like the comment section below, so I know that you want to see more about this, um, but if you don't want to see it, then you can leave a comment about that too. I, I really just need some feedback on if I should continue to make videos, and what it is that you know, you're interested in seeing, um, or if you just want to see what I'm interested in doing and following that journey. So I'm going to go ahead and switch the camera over so you guys can see the paintings right now. Okay, so before I show you the, the paintings that turned out good, I want to show you kind of the stuff that I ended up that wasn't good. So I have this piece right here, um, and then I have this thing, and I have this one. And I have like a piece of paper down there that I got mad and folded. And then I actually have a dabbed painting that turned out okay. Uh, so this is the dabbed painting. You can see that it's got the gold, the turquoise, the white, and the black. And this one actually isn't bad. This, this one's an okay piece. I mean, it's sellable. I plan on listing it because that one wasn't bad. And then this is one with uh, with the purple, but I just I don't like the purple in there, so I'm not I'm not a fan of that one. I might still list it because it's okay, but 
not a fan of it. So I had a bunch that I just, that were okay or I didn't like, not happy with, but let's go to the ones that I do like. So first off, I have this small one. This is on a linen canvas with a black background and then white and yellow for the scrape. What I really like is this kind of middle section because it kind of breaks up the painting, but this looks similar to what you would see from like a Gerard Richter. And I'm not trying to emulate Richter per se. I just really enjoy the scrape technique and, and using gloss enamel is kind of my thing. So this one actually turned out really good and I was really happy with it. I don't think I got it recorded, so uh, there it is. Anyway, that was with a plastic trowel. Same thing for these. Now, the top one is my favorite, but I'm gonna show you this one. So this one right here is a gray, red, and gold painting. Um, it, or sorry, it was actually black, white, gold, and red. And the black and white kind of, uh, kind of smooth together to make a gray, which I've talked about before that that happens if you overdo it too many times, which I believe I did on this one. However, the design of the piece, I'm actually really happy with. I mean, it's got the, the pockets of gold, which are always nice. It does have some distinct red, uh, with some gold on the opposite end, which I feel like kind of counterbalance each other, which is cool. And then you can see the layering here with the white underneath. It's funny because you see the whitish gray here, and then you see it underneath in these little pockets. So you can tell that this went over it. So it's like this created this middle section. So I actually really like this piece as well. Same thing as a uh, plastic trowel with the gloss enamel. Now last is this turquoise piece right here. And this is probably my favorite of the three. Um, I think probably just mostly because of the colors. Um, these colors are really good. Um, so they just, they're really good to, together. But the, the design of the scrape came out really nice. I really like this little pocket right here where it's got kind of the, where it's broken up. Um, I feel like that actually kind of breaks up the painting. So it gives it a little bit of character as opposed to just a smooth scrape. Um, and then, you know, we have the gold and then you can see the hints of white, which is pretty nice because the little hints of white kind of lighten up the painting. So it's not so heavy. Like it, it is very heavy, but it, it's got a lightness to it as well. So this one actually turned out really well. Um, and so those are the three that I made that were all this, you know, gloss enamel with a plastic trowel. And so these turned out really good and I'm really proud of them. But again, I didn't have them recorded. So if you want to see more of that, let me know. And I, I may just be doing more of these types of paintings in the future just because I'm really happy with the way that they turned out. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch back over to the other camera so I can kind of finish this video out. Ultimately, I made this video to kind of check in with you guys and just let you know what's going on, that I may not continue the channel. I don't, I'm not sure, just kind of watching the growth of it right now or the response on the videos. Again, I don't get a lot of views, so it's, it is a little discouraging. It's not about the numbers per se, but when you have a certain amount of subscribers and then the views are not even one, uh, you know, not even 10% of that, it's kind of disheartening. So I'm just, just being honest with you. Um, but if you want to see more of the scrape paintings and, and you want to see kind of more of what I'm doing still, that's fine. I just may not be branching out into a bunch of different techniques right now because I really want to kind of master this one because I'm really impressed with the way it turned out. Um, and that's really it guys. Like I, I don't want you to worry about what's going on in the world. Um, I, I don't want you to uh, be frustrated if I just kind of stop, but I want to give you a heads up on just kind of where I'm at right now. Um, lastly, with the videos, like I said, some of the videos coming up may just be different. Like I might just put music on them um, or I might try some editing techniques. I, I don't really know. Like it's like I want to make the videos better. I do want to make them better, give them better quality. But at the same time, I, I just don't want to do something that's not really me. Like, I don't want to try to emulate a bunch of other people on YouTube doing a bunch of things that just aren't unique to me. So just trying to find my place in that and, and to see if I'm even going to continue. So with that being said, please let me know what you think. I, I really genuinely want to hear your feedback. So if you could leave a comment for me, uh, like or dislike the video, that's totally fine. And just kind of let me know 
what you think about it, um, just about all of this. And uh, I would really appreciate your feedback. I do have a few videos planned, including the Pollock style pa uh, painting. So I will be posting that. Um, but a lot of the audio, just as a heads up, a lot of the audio from some of the upcoming videos, just it, it got messed up because the mic that I was using was fine on my old phone. And now that it's on this one, like it just, you cannot hear the audio at all. And I didn't know that until I played all the videos back. Um, so yeah, so a lot of the reasons that some of these videos will also be different is because the audio was kind of choppy or just super quiet. You could, even if I amplified it, like all you heard was the static and stuff. So it's like, there was no winning with that. Um, so some of the audio was bad. So I'm just gonna have to use the phone audio and try to make that as good as I can in audio editing before I make the videos. But anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you watching this and just kind of listening to me uh, ramble, I guess. And I just appreciate all of your support. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.